President William Ruto took office on Tuesday at a time when Kenya has its largest ever number of elected female representatives. Now they want him to keep his promise of getting more women into politics. A significant dividend of our electoral and democratic process is the tremendous achievement we made in breaking the glass ceiling by enhancing the participation of women in leadership. Ruto is not the only one celebrating victory. Susan Kahika was recently elected the first female governor of Kenya's populous Nakuru County. The lawyer is one of the record number of women appointed in the August election. Very many women were elected. It's not very many when you think about it. Like I'm not talking about 50% of women were elected, but so much more than we've seen before. Kenya's number of female governors has more than doubled, while the number of female parliamentarians jumped by nearly a third. But that's still only 15 and 23 percent respectively. A clause in Kenya's 2010 constitution says no more than two-thirds of any elected body can be comprised of one gender. It has never been fulfilled. Now Kahika and others are calling on Ruto to make good on his campaign pledge of upholding that clause. In some counties, even for the, the, the jockeys, even for the seats reserved for women rep, like they elect zero women, and they even say if, the, if it wasn't clear that the seat reserved for women representatives uh, is for women, they would vote in men. Like, I hope you get, you know how crazy that is. Kihika said that women are also deterred from running because they face abuse and physical assault on the campaign trail. She's calling for better protections. Ruto was the only one of four presidential candidates whose running mate was not a woman. However, he has also pledged to appoint women to half of his cabinet.